In this video, I want to talk about the products that make up the Claris FileMaker platform. With this information, you'll have a better understanding of how to build and deploy a custom application to your team or organization. As you start to work out your strategy for deploying your FileMaker application, you're going to want to think carefully about the different tools that make up the Claris FileMaker platform and how to best leverage those tools to meet the needs of your organization. So my goal in this video is to educate you about the individual parts of the Claris FileMaker platform. Now, before I dive into this conversation, it's important to understand that the licensing for the Claris FileMaker platform continues to be simplified. Gone are the days where you would count the number of pro users or go users or how many servers you might need. These days, all you have to do is count the number of unique users that will be accessing your Claris FileMaker solution and simply make a purchase for that number of users. Say you purchase eight seats of the Claris FileMaker platform, those eight people within your team will have access to FileMaker Server, copies of FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Go, WebDirect, and all the new tools that Claris is building to support the FileMaker community. All you have to do is purchase for the number of users and they get access to choose the best tools within the FileMaker platform that helps them solve their needs. Now, stepping away from the licensing conversation, the Claris FileMaker platform is composed of many products that work together seamlessly to help solve organizational or business challenges. The most prominent product within the platform is FileMaker Pro. FileMaker Pro works on Macs and Windows and is the main tool developers use to build or customize a FileMaker custom application. Additionally, for most users who are using Mac or Windows computers, FileMaker Pro will be the default go-to software for accessing a custom application. So FileMaker Pro is really the predominant software you see most places, especially if users are on Mac or Windows computers. Now, a quick note about terminology, which has changed over the last 30 some odd years. You'll hear me refer to a FileMaker solution or a FileMaker custom app or a FileMaker database or even a FileMaker template. All four of these terms loosely mean the same thing. Of course, after more than 30 years of working with the FileMaker platform, I've had to learn each of these as the various sales and marketing organizations at Claris change the terminology. Now, keep in mind the FileMaker platform has been around for a long time. And so we have young people using the platform. We have older professionals using the platform. And terminology may vary between the ages of the users. So just keep that in mind. So FileMaker developers and power users will use FileMaker Pro to build and customize their FileMaker solution. And at some point in this process, you're going to want to start to share this solution with the rest of your team. The real power of the FileMaker platform is its collaborative nature. The FileMaker platform is excellent at sharing your custom application with multiple users worldwide simultaneously. To share or host a FileMaker custom application, you're going to want to leverage FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Both are dedicated products that will share or host your application out to your users. FileMaker Server is software that is installed on a Mac, Windows, or Linux-based server, which means that this should be a dedicated computer to run FileMaker Server. Claris International will frequently refer to FileMaker Server as the, quote, on-prem server, because it can be easily installed on a local office network, but it is just as easily installed in a cloud data center like Amazon AWS. In fact, within my organization, 95% of all the FileMaker servers that we install are not installed on-premise at a customer's office. We install this software on dedicated servers that live up on Amazon AWS within an Amazon data center. Alternatively, depending upon your needs, you may be able to leverage FileMaker Cloud, which is a service that Claris International provides where Claris sets up a FileMaker server for you, both the hardware and the software, so you don't have to worry about installation or hosting of the FileMaker server software. Keep in mind that FileMaker Cloud has certain limitations, so you're going to want to chat with a FileMaker developer to determine which product is right for you. 
As a side note, you can install FileMaker Server yourself on a server if you have the technical expertise, or you can work with a professional consultant to help you with that process. In determining which way to go with this decision, one of the deciding factors is the level of IT support within your organization. If you have an IT team who is experienced with the FileMaker platform, then they can set up the FileMaker server, and they can set up on Mac or Windows or Linux, and they should pick the operating system that they're most comfortable in supporting. If you don't have great IT support, at least from the server side of things, you'll need to work with a consultant and have a conversation so they can understand what your needs are. Keep in mind that both FileMaker Server and FileMaker Cloud provide excellent encryption of your database. Not only is your database encrypted on the hard drive, but the traffic is encrypted across the internet. Moving forward in this conversation, you're going to hear me refer to FileMaker Server. When I say that, I am generically referring to either FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. So in summary, understand that when you're going to share your FileMaker custom application with your team, you're going to want to choose either FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Now, moving forward, if you have users who want to leverage an iPhone or iPad, they're going to want to install FileMaker Go. FileMaker Go is a free download from Apple's App Store. FileMaker Go is not available for Google Android. FileMaker Go is specifically tuned for these mobile devices, allowing you to access extra features that are not normally part of FileMaker Pro. For example, with an iPhone or iPad, you can easily access the built-in camera for barcode capturing or capturing even photos or videos straight into your FileMaker system. User signatures, of course, you have access to GPS tracking with the iPhone or iPad. FileMaker Go also supports some other interesting capabilities that are part of the Apple iOS operating system. The third way for users to connect to a FileMaker solution is for them to use a web browser and access what is called WebDirect. WebDirect is part of FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud and provides FileMaker user access via a web browser. FileMaker WebDirect is specifically tested with the most popular web browsers on the latest operating systems, which is interesting because that allows you to access a FileMaker custom app from an Android device. Specifically, WebDirect supports the latest Chrome browser that runs on mobile device. Now, because WebDirect talks to browsers, you can use a web browser on your Mac or Windows computer or even your iPhone or iPad to gain access to a FileMaker solution. But really, the true benefit to WebDirect was to bring FileMaker access to the Android platform and other devices where FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Go cannot be run. Now, as a reminder, if you want to develop a FileMaker custom application, i.e. you want to design a report, make some sort of programming change under the hood, you're going to need to use FileMaker Pro. FileMaker Go and FileMaker WebDirect are designed as consumption tools for end users. This means that FileMaker Go and FileMaker WebDirect do not provide under the hood access that developers need for building or customizing a FileMaker application. Once your data is saved within a FileMaker application that's running on FileMaker server, you can access that data using a FileMaker data API. And this is referred to as DAPI. Sometimes you'll hear another term, custom web publishing, and that's the idea of coding HTML pages, maybe with jQuery or PHP. And by using this technology, you can tap in and access the data API allowing you to bring FileMaker data onto your web pages simply to display it or to even allow your users to add or edit that data. If you think your team might benefit from custom created HTML pages that leverage FileMaker data, you probably need to be using FileMaker Server. FileMaker Server has greater flexibility in publishing data through the data API out to jQuery or PHP than the Claris Cloud service. This is one of those little differentiating moments between those two options for hosting or sharing your FileMaker custom application. In recent years, Claris International has been developing Claris Connect. Claris Connect is a simplified API service that allows you to connect a FileMaker custom application out to a third-party service like Slack or Dropbox or potentially even QuickBooks. 
Claris Connect is a fairly new product, and the engineers at Claris are focused on enhancing and growing this product. Another new product that Claris International is working on is Claris Studio. Claris Studio is a new product that's still in development that allows users a more simplified process of building public-facing HTML pages that interact with their FileMaker data. So from a high-altitude view, developers will use FileMaker Pro to build out and customize a FileMaker custom application. Your FileMaker custom application is going to be hosted with FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. End users can leverage FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Go, or WebDirect to access a hosted or shared FileMaker application. Claris Connect and Claris Studio are new products that continue to expand the reach of the FileMaker platform while doing so in a simplified fashion. In this video, I want to talk about the products that make up the Claris 